Welcome everyone with a brand new iOS 16.2 software update. If you have M1 iPad Pro or newer, you now have the option to use Stage Manager on the external display. So I'm gonna to move to my external display and we're gonna have some fun. Moving close to my monitor, what you need to do next is you need to have a USB-C to HDMI adapter. I'm using this anchor one right here. I'm gonna have a dedicated tutorial on how to use the Stage Manager set it up. This is just a demo, so uh, if you wanna watch the full tutorial, subscribe will come out in a couple of days. If it's already out, check the description. You connect the HDMI like this, and I would recommend you have charging also because it's gonna use a lot of power. And then you should see the Stage Manager. Here we go. So iPad screen on the left, external display on the right. Starting out, uh, most of the stage manager controls are the same, but if I have an application open on my iPad and I want to move it to the big screen, I can either drag and drop like this, okay? As you just drag up, right? The iPad's going to be on the bottom, external display at the top, or a little bit glitchy there. But the other option is you click on the triple dots and then move to the display. Now, if it's glitched like this, you can resize. And that usually works. This time it seems like this is completely busted. So I'm going to reopen up the app like this. And here we go. Now, a couple of things you will need to keep in mind. So if I go to a full screen app, so let's do YouTube here. And some apps will support full screen, other apps. So let's say the settings. If I were to go to the full screen, you see, yeah, that ain't supported yet. So a lot of work will need to be done. But if you're on a full screen app or the dock is just hidden, if I slide down like usual to access the dock, you notice that my cursor goes to the iPad itself. So the solution for this one is you will need to slide down from the far right hand side, okay, to access the dock. And then you need to keep your cursor near the bottom area and you can select your app. So app store, drag, drop, boom. We have it in the stage manager view. Of course, if you, you know, drag and drop where these triple dots are, you can resize, uh, you know, move around. If you click, you have all these options, you know, move to iPad, etc. What you may not know is on the iPad itself, so go to the iPad itself, you can actually turn off Stage Manager on the iPad. So maybe you don't want to use it on the iPad, you know, you don't like it for whatever reason. So Stage Manager can be off, right? You can even use the, uh, the regular split screen. Let me use two apps which actually support this, right? So I'm going to go App Store and I'm going to go Photos. So you can see I can do regular split screen here and then I can do the stage manager at the top. Uh, to those wondering, stage manager is on by default on the external display. You can't you know, change that, you can't turn it off. Stage manager is always on here and then on the bottom display, you can either have it off or on. You can also see here that if I triple, uh, click on the triple dots, I can move to the display still. So, you know, stage manager, you may actually want it off on the bottom display and I keep it on on the top display. Uh, me personally, I'm not even sure if I'm going to use this for the yet. I did try, but the iPad gets really hot. And this is M1 and it's getting extremely hot already, uh, which is a little bit disappointing. But uh, you can see that right here. Now, on top of this, if I go to the iPad itself, I go to the settings and I go to uh, the display and brightness. And then you have here arrangement. So right now I have an iPad at the bottom and the display at the top. You can notice one, two, three. So you can have from my adult to four displays. Uh, you can rearrange like this as well. So you can have it bottom, top, like I have. Uh, ignore when I said four displays, it is one display. This is where you place the iPad, right? So you can have it bottom, you slide up to the top, etc. that you may want to change. If I click on the display itself, you can allow display mode changes, which will change the refresh rate and etc. I've never used that. And if I go to the stage manager options, you can also see here layout, iPad, and you can switch to the external display. So if you want the dock to be on most of the time, uh, it won't be on when you're in a full screen view. But if you're not in full screen view, you can have dock on all the time. You can also have recent apps on if there's space. Of course, if you nudge to the left, seems like seems like it's bugged. But let's try and hide this. Okay, this is this is bugged. But usually, when we, when you nudge to the left, right, it will show these uh, these recent apps here. 
of course the regular you know multitasking etc is all fully working um this is a very cool feature i'm looking forward to it coming out of beta i will have a full tutorial on this when it's you know usable properly because right now it's it's not easy to use there's also a ton of issues i'm going to show you this so first of all uh, if i go to the control center it goes on the bottom screen and the tv i can't change the audio levels right first thing second thing i can't have the audio play from the ipad and not the external monitor it must play from the external monitor third thing i like to have multiple things playing at once uh, ipad os restricts it so you can only have one thing playing at once that's an issue because let's say i'm having a youtube video playing in the background and then i'm video editing you can only have one or the other playing not both and that i'm not a big fan of or like sometimes you're web browsing and you have youtube in the background something accidentally starts playing in the browser and the video stops it is very annoying so ipad os needs to change it needs to change fast but honestly i did do some testing you know it's not going to replace my m1 max macbook pro okay because i spend like three grand on it but next time i'm thinking about upgrading to a computer I know I may just buy a new iPad Pro and not even look at the MacBook Pro. Seriously, this is extremely good. I could make this work. If I if I didn't have M1 Max and have my 2019 MacBook Pro, I would honestly use this as my daily driver. But again, because I have that expensive laptop, there's no real reason to use a... Well, I mean, sorry, this, this is the worst experience, right? If you have an iPad, you're going to be very happy with this. Of course, Pro M1, uh, everything is good here. But otherwise, well, well... So with that being said, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.